and welcome to today's video. Today I have for you another drugstore week video and it's a hot or not. I love hot or nots and actually they tend to be quite popular on my channel when I do them. I think the last one I done was the H&M one um, which I will link down below but today I've got a really exciting drugstore product that I really wanted to share. It's a bit of a preview because it's not out in the UK until March but you guys in the US probably already have them and it's these Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colours. Um, I have four of them, I was very kindly sent them by Revlon. I haven't tried them yet, I've attempted to open this one but that's it. Um, and I'm really really excited to try them. So I have four of the seven colours and they are apparently high pigmented moisturising formula with vivid colour and a soft finish. Um, I don't know if soft finish means that it's not extremely matte or I'm not sure. Um, and it's a wax free gel formula which apparently makes them lightweight and they smell of mango and vanilla apparently um, so really excited to kind of open them and give them a go I'm not a massive liquid lipstick fan actually that's a lie I just don't think I've tried enough I'm really trying to get into them and I've just discovered one that I really really like which was in my haul yesterday so I'm sure I'll be trying out a few more but I'm going to apply a few of these but I will be wearing my favourite one throughout the day and then checking in to see how it does I'm going to open Love I don't know what to do because if I pull this then I won't know what colour it is in the future I might try and fold this under or something I don't think that'll work very well but here we go so packaging wise they're really nice they're quite small um, they're kind of a frosted plastic it's not glass but it looks like frosted glass um, they look quite sleek I don't think they look cheap at all um, and I do really really like them they're quite like nice to hold and stuff like I said this one is love and it's a bright red, it is like very bright. Smell wise, I like it. It kind of smells like Yankee Candles. You know how they have those like really artificial Christmas scents? That's what I think they smell like, probably because of the vanilla and Yankee Candles seems to love vanilla in their Christmas scents. The applicator is like a small triangle, um, but I'm gonna apply it and we'll see. My lips are quite dry by the way guys. I really like the applicator, but I'm not sure it picks up quite enough product, which I guess could be a good thing because you're not going to overload and it allows you to have more control. Colour wise, it's a really beautiful colour. It's super, super bright, but it does make your teeth look super white, which is nice. Currently, really comfortable. Not matte yet, but obviously I've just applied. And not patchy at all. I was expecting it to be a little bit patchy, but it actually isn't. Then on to Temptation. It's probably what I'm gonna like the least because I'm really not into pink lipsticks at the moment because it's cold outside. Again, it's like a very, very vibrant colour. And the same scent as before. This is super bright. These are permanent, so this colour would be great for some people in the summer. This is such a Barbie doll pink, um, not really my colour again. This one is slightly more patchy than the previous one and just really wet. Okay, dry down. It's kind of gathering a little bit as well and I've just applied it. So I'm not really sure. Um, this colour is not, again, not my colour but quite a nice summer colour for anyone that likes bright pinks. It's super Barbie. On to the next colour, and I actually think this one will be quite nice, and this one is Addiction. By the way, there's one called Obsession, and for obvious reasons I really want to try that one. So, this is more of like a purpley, um, mauve shade, I guess. So, this colour I actually really like. This one's a little bit more matte than the other ones, like instantly, but they're still not matte yet, but I have just applied them, so hopefully they would become matte. Um, soon after. Really nice autumn colour but it's not the one I'm going to go for today because I'm going to wear a navy top today and it will be very dark. Instead I'm going to wear this one which might not go with navy at all but it's the one I want to wear. Um, but this has probably been my favourite so far um, and I would probably say that, I don't know, these are kind of the same, they're not ugly colours, they, they're just probably not my sort of colours. This, however, is my sort of colour and I think this is really pretty. So, on to Flirtation, which seems like it's quite like an orangey colour, like a peachy colour. I 
very much a peachy shade. I really like it, but it's a little bit on the summery side. I probably should have gone for, I probably should have gone for Addiction for today, but I am not. I'm going to go for this. I do feel like it's quite summery, but that's okay. Um, I think it applied well. It is doing that annoying thing where they kind of gathers because it's not dry, but I don't know, like how do I get it to dry? Hopefully it will dry soon and stop that. But I have to head out and I'm going for lunch now. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. I am going to take it with me because I might need to reapply. But I will update you as the day go goes on. And then I'll give the final verdict either tonight or tomorrow morning. So I thought I would really quickly check in pre-eating. Because it will kind of like wipe away as I eat. But it's um, it's not completely matte. But it's a, like a, maybe like a semi-matte rather than like super duper duper matte. Which I kind of don't mind. Because um, I think sometimes matte can be a bit harsh. And I think because this is an everyday colour it's perfect. But, for example, with the bright pink, if you want it to be matte, then, mm, But other than that, it feels really comfortable. It hasn't been really dry, which is such a big plus, because I have such dry lips. And in comparison to all the ones I've tried previously, this is actually a really, really comfortable one. I don't think it's sunk too heavily into lines of my lips or anything like that. So, so, so far, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think as long as it doesn't wipe off straight away after I eat... But even then, like I'm not, I don't really expect my lipsticks to last all day. I do quite like to reapply. As long as it reapplies evenly, then I'll be quite happy. I'm, um, yeah, I really like the colour as well. I think it's a really beautiful, beautiful everyday shade. So I've just finished eating and it's still pretty much in, in place. I've had ice cream and all that sort of stuff. And it's still pretty much the same as it was before. Um, maybe a little tiny bit faded and it is more matte, but I kind of like it. Um... I'm actually really happy with it so far. I just kind of just have to see how it wears throughout the day. I'll let you know if I have to reapply as well. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed the previous part of this video, but I wanted to quickly film an outro as are my thoughts on the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. Quickly gonna ask that you excuse my appearance. I just really wanted to get this filmed and I haven't touched up my makeup and it's really been one of those days, but I want this video up today. But Overall, I really, really, really liked these. I wore flirtation all day a couple of days ago and it lasted beautifully. Of course, it did fade, but towards the end of the day, um, and it was like quite a long day and I had loads of food, like an absurd amount of food, it still looked nice. It wasn't as pigmented as it was to begin with. I was still left with a beautiful kind of layer of colour and it wasn't at all patchy, which really surprised me. Also, two days ago, my friend tried out addiction and she loved it too this color is really really nice it's probably my favorite of the four that i have along with flirtation she commented on how comfortable it is to wear they're really not that drying they last beautifully and fade really nicely as well obviously they don't last 24 hours but they do last a long time and as they fade they look really nice still which is quite rare i think with such a bright color overall i would definitely say these are hot um they come out in march so there's still a little bit of a wait but when they are out, I would definitely recommend checking them out if you're into your liquid lipsticks. Not overly matte, but they're just as matte as I would personally want them. And they're relatively affordable as well. I'll leave all that information down below, along with swatches, which will be up on my blog tomorrow morning. If you're watching this on Thursday or after, then they are already up. Really, really love them and I can't wait for them to come out. So I'm definitely going to check out the other three colours as well. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more hot or nots, do let me know in the comments what you'd like to see a hot or not on. Tomorrow I'll have another drugstore video for you guys. And as my drugstore week did start a little bit late because my laptop went in for repairs, it will be drugstore week until next Monday. I think it will be my last drugstore video. So I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!